It's time to earn your beads, ML Fanatics. We are live from the Terror Dome in New Orleans, Louisiana. And second thought, since most of you are trolls, orcs, and or uh, rotting, go ahead and keep those shirts on and just write the commission for your free beads. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Terror Bay Mutineers battle, the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Hot one, hot two, hey! Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot... Oh man, what a throw! And Sonic Blast, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point! And a well placed cleat! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three! Ooh, I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that! It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, three. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost dirty trick. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, 
bricks it. It means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. And it's first and 10. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And Lil Cats will give them a first down. And it's first and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. First and eight to go. <laughs> and they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and seven. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beef for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall out. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta... Uh... <clears throat> and so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And that'll be second and eight to go. run for five yards third down and three oh a great catch and he picks up a new set of downs And it's first and ten. That run is good for ten yards.
Second down the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First and two. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And that, my friend, is the dance of someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. He refuses to go down. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. Second down, and a muffin says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And there goes the ref. You know, Bricks, it's a tough job for a ref to control an angry, fired-up gang of mutants. Kind of like asking a zebra to serve tofu kebabs to a pack of starving lions in the Serengeti. You know, Grim, I killed a ref in Rio once. Eh, just the watching by. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. trick that'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently you snooze you lose unless you're in a sleeping contest third down and well good luck i hope you covered your ears bricks because that was a sonic blast dirty trick and that is caught for a first down Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Jerk. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. Third down and five. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done.
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And so, that's the two-minute warning. Second and three. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Caught for the first down. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Second down and long. The quarterback burns his last time out. He can't stop the clock anymore. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. And it's first and ten. No one was open downfield, so the QB threw the ball away. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff.
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And they brought him to a dead stop, literally. <laughs> oh, man. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, yeah. killing the quarterback, yeah. or actually playing some D? I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. 
If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe with a headache. Second down and six. target more often and it's first and ten and into the end zone for a touchdown once he got his hands on that pass he was off to the races Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sit. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, ho, ho. that gets me every time. Like a jack in the box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. We just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. with the punishing hit. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second and three. the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And they just popped his eyes in 
the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting or dead. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and five. First and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And that'll be second down and four. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third and four. Quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic missile. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, ripping himself in the privates. Hey. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those power the green, like a high cool. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, we're talking about points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is man, he just laid the wood on him. like an old guy looking for 
a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. another running back and only to remain on their roster when a team loses all their running backs they lose their ability to run the ball yeah like if i rip out your tongue you won't be able to speak tell us something we don't know genius we're at the two minute mark in the second half first down and nine Catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second and three. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing. One's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. I think the quarterback said they blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. <laughs> Second down, and we've got a... That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. a big game. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score.
Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. <laughs> and it's first and ten. on that run. The Zombies deliver a bone-crushing win for their home crowd today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Now I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Hey, man, she's going to get on now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.